After an injury that sidelined Kevin Fogg his senior year of college, his dreams of playing in the NFL began to fade. I always used before I got hurt because I, I learned so much through my injury at Liberty um, just to trust God more and, and, and be more faithful. And it's one of those things where, you know, I was ready to move on with my life and to go, but God said, you know, your time here is not done. Um, and it was hard to um, comprehend that. It was hard to see so what God truly had for me and stuff. And we're always going to be tested each and every day. And what do you take out of that situation to what really makes you grow? After months of hard work to get back in shape, Fogg was invited to practice with the Washington Redskins, but was then cut after just a few weeks and returned to Lynchburg. I didn't think it was over. I just thought it was just going to be another little waiting process that I had to go through. Um, just through my whole process, um, one thing that I prayed about was for an opportunity. Um, I was like, God, if this was the only opportunity that you had for me, that's all. I mean, I, I prayed for an opportunity. I didn't pray for multiple opportunities and stuff. Shortly after, Fogg received a call from his agent, who let him know he had been invited to practice with the Miami Dolphins. It, it was still like a dream come true. Um, like I, I was saying, like through my process, it's, it's, it wasn't the one that was just handed to me and stuff. And so going through, you know, I'm always the underdog and stuff. And I, that's always been my mindset going through everything and stuff. And I feel like I work better going through having that type of mindset. And, it was my hard work that got me here, and it's gonna be my hard work to take me through the whole thing. While he was excited to have the opportunity to practice with the Dolphins, the fear of failure still lingered in the back of his mind. <laughs> the biggest challenge to playing in this level, you fear of failure, you, you fear of, of, of selling yourself short, you fear um, failure of not making people proud do whatever it takes to play in this league because it's, your, your time is so precious in this league. Your, your, your time is precious at all in life. But going through this whole thing with football and to have the opportunity, um, it's just one of those things. You just have to figure out what, what will keep you going, what will keep you motivated. Kevin felt encouraged about his opportunity with the team when he made the 75-man roster. However, the final round of cuts was quickly approaching and when the 53-man roster was released, his name was not on it. I have no regrets. When I think about what's next for me, um, I know that God has something in store for me. Um, I know that um, God hasn't brought me and taken me through so much just to um, not do anything great and stuff. And I just, whatever it is, if it's football, um, coaching, sports ministry, you, you, we never know, uh, and that's why we, we just live in the moment, do what we can now, and then just let God take care of the rest and stuff and just lead us to um, our next step, open up the, the next door that He's going to open up after He closes the door that we're living in this moment.